Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome to another edition of Spot Bid on Super Screen Television. It's the Friday edition, and of course, it's the last. Uh, edition for the week and we're always very glad uh, to come your way and of course take you around the money spinning world of sport this afternoon uh, we'll be looking at the nff awards the date has been shifted and we're going to be talking about that on the show this afternoon we'll also i'll uh, be looking at what general raw is talking uh, about some certain players in the super eagles fold we'll talk about that also uh, on the show also i'll be looking at the fixtures of matches to go down this weekend in the Nigerian professional football league is getting exciting uh, out there and of course uh, we've got some match watching games uh, to watch out for because two uh, top teams are going to be locking arms against one another and it promises uh, to be a great and exciting time out there in the Nigerian professional football league. We'll also take our time to look at NBA games, games uh, that went down yesterday and of course I would dash to the Australian Open where we saw Novak Djokovic uh, booking his place in the final of the Australian Open while in the women's category. We also have the two players who will be jostling for honors in the final. We we'll also uh, talk about that game yesterday, the game uh, involving Chelsea and uh, Tottenham Hotspur. A lot of people felt that Chelsea really stood a very good chance of winning that game and they got the job done yesterday uh, to set a, a date with another team, a tough, 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 tough opponent uh, to call. Also, a uh, look at games today, the fourth round of the English FA Cup. Uh, we'll be going to, we are going to be witnessing a mouth-watering game uh, between Chelsea, I mean, Arsenal and Manchester United. It promises to be a great and exciting time. Uh, they will also talk about a certain coach uh, who has been fired uh, in the French league. Gone. Uh, let the cat get out of the bag in the course of the show. And uh, of course, we'll also talk about this one, not a very good one at all. I think that's how we're going to be starting uh, the show. My name is Olakunle Philip. I'm not in the studio alone. I've got Tayo Olon Shola joining me on the show this afternoon. Good afternoon, Tayo. Good afternoon for having me. Yeah. And um, it is a sad one for football, just like you said, Emiano Salah. And um, just like uh, the news broke, uh, the family have been in the search and um, the security. And um, it is quite sad for football. And um, I just feel and I pray that the family, God will grant them fortitude to bear the loss. All right, God will grant the family the fortitude to bear that um, irreversible uh, loss. The young man, uh, 28 years of age, an Argentine, applies his trade with Nantes uh, in uh, the French League on. And when he just, uh, you know, put up a very good performance since he's been playing in Nantes, and also this season, he has scored as much as 12 goals in 19 games. And that was what attracted Cardiff City of Wales uh, to actually secure his services. And after passing the medicals, he went back to uh, France where uh, he was expected to do some certain things and of course we turned back into England uh, on Monday but unfortunately the flight he entered along with uh, the pilot uh, of that particular flight David E. Button uh, disappeared from radar uh, on Monday night and rode uh, to uh, England from uh, France that's a, indeed a very very sad one and all efforts by UK and France who actually covered uh, an area of approximately 1,700 square miles and, an, and having an extra examined mobile phone and satellite imaginary modern day technologies was actually put in place uh, to really you know facilitate the search uh, of the aircraft but unfortunately, the news, they actually stopped the search and they said the, 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 the tendency uh, that um, Emine Alo Salah will be alive and of course, the pilot is very, very slim. We just pray that God, in his infinite mercy, will grant the family the fortitude to bear this loss. It's a sad, 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 sad one uh, for the world of football. And we're going to continue to talk about uh, Emilio Salah in a very, very long time. All right, let's come back home. And of course, Let's talk about the ITO NFL uh, awards for 2019. It's no more going to be holding on February 19, like it was held uh, last year. This time around, it will be taking center stage uh, on April 1st. And one of the things they said, Tayo, is that they want to put everything in place to ensure uh, that they have a very fantastic award night. 
Uh, it's a good one that um, the award has been postponed. It will give the football governing uh, body in Nigeria to plan ahead. And um, equally, although there are certain loopholes in Nigerian football, but with this award and with the planning, I feel they should be able to put uh, their planning right to ensure that the occasion is worthwhile. All right, and uh, just like the NFA have said, a lot of dignitaries will be on ground to actually uh, grace the occasion. There are a lot of loopholes in the maiden edition, uh, but that is expected when an event is just being staged. Uh, but we hope to have the best of the ITO NFF Awards uh, for. 2019. All right, let's talk about uh, the coach of the Super Eagles, Daniel Raw, who has actually come out to say John Mikel Obi remains the captain of the Super Eagles. That's why the fact that some people felt he should have actually opted for bigger clubs, Roma and Wolfsburg, but he decided to pitch in ten, he pitched his tent with Wolfsburg in the English um, National Division. Yes, uh, for Mikel Obi, he, he has paid his bill for the Super Eagles and he deserves a place, just like the coach has insisted that he's going to remain the captain of the side. And um, for his, um, uh, his uh, recent move to Mundusbro, I feel the family has to come first. The mm -hmm. family has to be happy and that is one of the things he said. He said he wants his family to be happy, he wants to be with his family. So and um, England is a terrain. He has been for it's the very past, familiar with. so he's familiar with the terrain, and I think it's a good one. He will be mm. playing. We get to see him week in, week out. Although it's a championship side, but it will also help the Super Eagles because <laughs> the the captain will be back into the team. All right, the captain will be back into the team, and we hope that after a lot of lingering injuries, uh, he will be able to get back to shape and, of course, get ready for the Super Eagles as we prepare for uh, the forthcoming African Cup of Nations uh, to take place in Egypt. Also, uh, the coach has also expressed worries uh, about uh, the status, uh, the club status of the goalkeeper for the Super Eagles, Francis Uzor. Remember, uh, just um, um, about a week ago, uh, Elche, the club that Francis Uzor plays for, actually secured uh, the services of um, Edgar Badia on a six-month loan deal. And then, um, since then, I think um, he has actually not been playing regularly uh, for Elche. And the coach is saying, he, he doesn't get a regular playing time, then he's, he needs to go on loan to another club. And um, I must commend the coach for the good work he's, he's really doing. He's really concerned about his players. He's concerned about the welfare of the player, and not only that, their performances. So mm -hmm. he wants the best for them, and it's a good one that he's putting the guys on their toes so that they can be up to the tax. Mm -hmm. So that by the time they are playing for the Super Eagle, they can give their best. All right, we wish you, Francis Uzo, the very best, and we hope that uh, they will begin to play regularly uh, for Elche. But very soon, we're going to be having, uh, probably uh, in the latter part or in the course of the show, probably next week, uh, we'll get to hear uh, from uh, Francis Uzo, who will be speaking to us live from Elche in Spanish, in Spain. Let's quickly all talk about another player, not really very popular right now. I remember uh, back then, we used to talk about uh, Anthony Uja, who has played a lot of in, for a lot of clubs, uh, particularly in the German League. And then uh, there's this news that um, Turkish athlete, uh, card called Reza Spore, is actually interested in securing the services of Anthony Uja. For me, if he's able to go there, I think it's a very good chance is a very good chance uh, to play regularly and of course take a claim in the Super Eagles fold. Yes, it's a good one for him because he has not been doing well and um, the club in which he moved from Germany back to, uh, to Turkey now, he has not been playing, he has not been getting first team, uh, first team shirts. So this, uh, this particular um, move. move we help him and to get to regain his um, his shirt back in the Super Eagle. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, it depends on how he's able to actually uh, play well and win the art of the technical crew of the Super Eagles uh, because we have just about five months uh, to the commencement of the African Cup of Nations. Let's talk about another player who has told everyone that he will not be uh, doing the green white green jersey of Nigeria anymore. Uh, but the NFL uh, chieftains are saying uh, they will prevail upon him to rescind his decision. Victor Moses has passed his medicals uh, with uh, Fenerbahce, and then um, there's every likelihood of that in just a matter of days he will be declared as the player of Fenerbahce in a loan deal. Great one for Victor Moses because I think I've been feeling very bad. I remember when Conte uh, was, was in charge of the of uh, Chelsea. He was playing regularly uh, but since uh, Mario Zazari came on, he told him on playing terms that he does not fit into his plans. Yes, uh, Victor Moses is a good one for him because if you look at it very well, since uh, Ansu and Mauricio Sarri take over at the Stamford Bridge, it has been a bad one for him. He has kept him on the bench. Even sometimes he's not listed mm. and it's not good for his, uh, for his career. Yeah. Although he's no more in the Super Eagle, but he needs to be playing. This might even give him opportunity of being called back and he will be able to prove... Uh, Put, um, take a stake for himself in the national team because if he's not playing, I see no reason why he should come back. So mm -hmm. he has to be playing week in, week out. So, so that he will be able to get back to the team. You think we still need him in the Super Eagles? Well, like I've said before, I see no reason. He's a, fan, he's a good player, he's a prospect. He's not a fantastic player, though, but we still need the service. But since he has uh, decided, so I don't think he's, uh, he's wise enough for the, uh, the NFF to bother him any, uh, so much okay. because it's his decision. But if he gets to be playing where he's moving to now, Fenerbahce is a good club, it's a fantastic club, they have a lot of records, so I feel he should be considered back into the team. All right, it should be considered back into the team, but that will depend on Victor Moses. Let's quickly look at the fixtures of matches uh, to go down in the Nigerian Professional Football League of this weekend. Week five games will be taking center stage. We're going to be reading out the fixtures before we begin to do justice to them. Abia Warriors will be up against Gombe United, while Rangers International of Enugu will be trading tackles with Ayimba. Go round FC against El Academy Warriors. Gather Scatter City uh, will be playing against FC Fanyu. But Lobby Stars of Makodi will be hosting Kwa United. While Natural United uh, will also be playing against Aqua United. Nigerian Tornadoes against Bendel Insurance. Plato United uh, will up, hope to get a win against Kano Pillars. Remo Stars against Casino United. Beavers United against um, MFM, who seems to be resolved, who seems to have resolved and firing on all cylinders. Wicked Tories against South of Akure and then Yobe Desert Stars against Atlant of Oweri. Uh, Tayo, Rangers International versus Ayimba, the Oriental Derby. Where do you think the pendulum will swing? Uh, the, the match is a good one. It's a fantastic match. But I feel, just like I said in the morning, I'm seeing a draw in that match. Because the truth is that uh, Rangers International has not won any match this season. But all pressure will be on them. They want to win at all costs. And Ayimba also losing their last game, I feel it's going to be a cracker between the two. Yes. So I'm seeing a draw. Okay, you're saying a draw. I'm all right. A draw Let's game. also talk about our one particular game, Rivers United against MFM. The last time, just a couple of days ago, MFM actually got the better of Rangers and then uh, Fidelis Ilechuku, the one we call Kamara, is really waxing lyrical and said the victory will give you spot there on uh, to actually do well in this campaign. Can they keep the momentum against Rivers United? Yes, they can keep the momentum because if you look at uh, MFM, since they gained promotion into Nigerian Professional League, it has been from one uh, success to another. Mm. And they even came close, winning the league the last time. So I feel they have everything going for yeah. them and they should be able to do the job. All right, they have everything going for them and they should be able to do the job. Plato United against Kano Pillars in one sentence. Plato United, Kano Pillars, same as you get that? 
It's United. <laughs> Kano Pillars, we carry the day. <laughs> All right, Kano Pillars uh, will actually carry the day. We wait to see how things pan out in the match day five of the Nigerian professional football league. And we hope we won't get to see crises and, of course, the uh, players, I mean, fans beating off coaches this, I mean, beating off referees this weekend let's quickly switch attention uh, to the nba and of course tell you that los angeles lakers lebron james we call him the king uh, lebron james and um, mil uh milwaukee's uh, box guiani ante tokumbo leads the 2019 nba all-stars game selected by fans and of course the game will be played on february 7th it's going to be very massive it's going to be very exciting the, the the fans have actually picked the best of players players who have really performed uh well for their clubs and of course they're going to be taking part in the nba all-stars for uh 2019 for western conference uh, we get to see players like uh, james addy uh, uh paul george calvin durant fantastic player uh, not forgetting steven Corey. i love that young man love uh, to watch him i think after you mentioned the king lebron james you always want to talk about steve Corey. and of course in the eastern conference you have Giannis and tito kumbo the name sounds you know it sounds greek but i must tell you that you know it, it the, the way it sounds uh, the, the the real spelling and the real meaning is adeto kumbo but the young man has said he does not want to play for nigeria and also have other players uh Kian ivan also another great player and uh, not forgetting kawi leonard and of course like uh, kemba Walker. It's going to be very, very uh, massive, I tell you. All right, let's quickly look at the NBA regular season results. Games are played yesterday in the NBA. Orlando City Thunders uh, actually got the better of um, New uh, Orleans Pelicans by 122 uh, to 116. Washington Wizards also did lost uh, two Golden State Warriors, massive victory for uh, Golden State Warriors, 108 uh, to 126. And of course, went in favor of Golden State Warriors. As I said, Phoenix Suns also lost to Portland Trail Blazers, 106, 102, 120. It ended. And of course, the LA Lakers uh, lost also uh, to Minnesota Timberwolves uh, by 120. Oh, they lost 105. 120 another victory for minnesota uh timberwolves in that game let's bring you the highlights of the nba top 10 play of the nights